It's a Friday afternoon and it is hot. Hot. Uh, the little weather station I've got in the house says 103 degrees out here, um, which may not be hot to some people, but it's very hot here, especially when we've had such a mild summer. Like it, it turned from being pretty comfortable and mild to suddenly just boom, hot. <laughs> it is hot. Anyways, I'm, I'm home and I need to do a couple things before dinner. I sat in the house for a while and just kind of watched TV, but I just couldn't stand it anymore. So I needed to come out and get started on something. You see, I'm, I'm facing a bit of a problem. Um, every vehicle that I have, well, let me rephrase this. All of my vehicles, every single one of them has some sort of an issue. My wife's car is running great. No problems with that one. All of my vehicles are having issues. So let me tell you the issues that I'm facing. Sammy has been running fantastic. In fact, I've been daily driving it lately because I've got a trailer on my truck that I'm moving some dirt with and didn't want to unhook it. Sammy's running fantastic other than it needs a clutch. The clutch is on its last leg. So it's still getting around, doing okay, but I know at any point that's gonna start having issues, especially if I do some heavy off-roading with it. I'm pretty nervous about it. So clutch needs to happen soon. My truck needs ball joints. Um, it's been running pretty good too. I had some issues with the fan clutch, a couple things um, that had to get taken care of. And most recently I've noticed the ball joints. It's got about hundred and I think it's at 176,000 miles on it currently. Um, so that again, not super urgent, still getting me around. Needs to be done pretty soon though. As a side note on this trailer, I use this trailer for a lot of things and currently it's being used as a dump trailer, <laughs> as a uh, dirt hauler trailer. Um, it's what I had access to so that I could move that hill over there that I got in trouble for driving on a while back. Um, I, think, I think it needs bearings on it. Uh, it might just need to be packed. I don't know. I've noticed with some of those heavier loads though, it needs a little bit of help too. So now we're on to the ambulance. Cool new hitch. However, we need tires. I was coming home the other day. This tire blew. You could see the remnants. Luckily, I don't think it did any actual body damage. And those marks should come off okay. But it's time for tires. I knew that we were getting close. I knew that it needed to happen. I've been putting off because I've been trying to figure out what option to go with. Because... It's 16 and a half inch rims. They're just not a standard size rim with standard back spacing. And I, I, I don't know, just kind of a unique setup that I've been trying to figure out what to do. I think I've got a solution figured out, but for now I can't really drive it because this one's blown out. I know that the other one's really close and I just don't trust it anymore. And finally, the Land Cruiser. Let me show you the problem that I'm having with the Land Cruiser. You know what that is? That is the rear drive line. You know there's an issue when the rear drive line is sitting on the floorboard of the back seat. <laughs> yeah, uh, funny story on that. I went to, I actually went to help out a friend that got stuck um, out in the sand. And on the way back, I lost the rear drive line. I actually drove for like three quarters of a mile before I realized that it was gone. Like I could tell something was weird. It just didn't feel right. Finally, I'm like, I think I've only got front wheel drive. And then a little bit further down the road, it started like it, it made a normal drive shaft, a normal free drive shaft noise where it kind of flopped around and made a bunch of noise under there. Um, cooling me in that I lost it and got underneath and looked. The, the rear yoke was completely missing, <laughs> like it had fallen off. And we had to drive back like three quarters of a mile before we realized that the bolts, I don't know if they broke. I don't know if they just came free. I honestly don't know exactly what happened, but it just fell off and the drive line had been dragging, still spinning, but dragging, never kicked up, never flipped around or anything like that, cluing me and that was the issue. So that needs some help. Um, I will tell you this also, it's time to do the carburetor. This thing was running really bad on that last recover. I mean, really, really, really bad. Um, so it needs new carburetor, needs, um, what is it? Valve cap? Can I be right, the valve cap? 
no. Valve. Hmm. I can't think of it, so I'm just gonna word it different. So, rear drive line, carburetor, and a few other things too. It just needs some love. Um, I think this is probably the one that we're going to tackle first out of all the other issues that are going on because some I'm waiting for parts for, some I'm waiting for help for, um, some I'm not sure I'm going to do myself, this I'm going to do myself, I've got everything, I think it's time to get it going. So I thought for, I thought a good hot afternoon activity would be to do some prep on this. Um, basically do some pressure washing and get this cleaned up and prepped so that I can climb underneath, climb in it all that stuff and uh, and hopefully it's not going to be clean that i'm dealing with but cleaner <laughs> and and better prep for what i'm doing so i'm, I'm going to pull this around uh get some engine degreaser and stuff like that on it setting um waiting and then pull up the pressure washer and go to town so first things first i think i need to do the old vehicle shuffle and i'm gonna Pull Sammy around, put it where the Land Cruiser is, bring the Land Cruiser around. Um, I might move the truck. I think I could probably leave the truck there though. I'm gonna be using that tomorrow uh, to finish a chicken coop that I'm working on. Not the mobile coop, this is a different coop. In fact, this is supposed to be a duck coop, uh, but we couldn't get any ducks this year, so we've got chickens in there. Anyways, do all that shuffle, get the Land Cruiser brought around. I'm probably gonna Park it somewhere around there, and then we'll start working on it. There we go. All right, we'll just leave this here for just a minute. Let's go see if we can get the Land Cruiser to start. I'm honestly not sure about this. I, last time I drove it was on that recovery, and it was rough. I mean... It was struggling. I, I don't know, like I think probably what was happening is I think that the carb is flooding. Um, I don't know if it's the accelerator pump or float sticking or maybe the float has a crack in it so it's just full of fuel. I honestly don't know, but it was rough. Pull the choke out here gonna take a minute oh there we go I say it's gonna take a minute to pump fuel up in there oof there we go okay okay she's moving we'll get it over here in the driveway and then hopefully we'll just have to get it to start once more with this carburetor and pull into the shop when we're done cleaning it off and after that, it's time for the Weber, baby. So I think we're gonna put it right about here. We'll work. And I'll go ahead and pop the hood while I'm in here too. Okay, Let's go stick Sammy in the carport and then we'll be ready to spray this thing down. So here's some evidence of how rough the Land Cruiser was running. I backed into this, which pushed that out, <laughs> pushed that metal sheeting out uh, because I was having such a hard time getting it backed in. It just went not idle. You give it too much fuel and it'd flood out. You wouldn't get it enough and it'd rev way up all over the place. There we go. Fixed. Anyways, I, like I said, trying to get it in here, I just didn't have a lot of there was a lot going on. I was managing a lot of things and just backed up too far and pushed that out. And anyways, luckily that's an easy fix. It's time. I'm going to go ahead and grab that degreaser and spray that engine over and probably some components underneath. Let it sit for a while and then we'll come and pressure wash it off. So I'm using the foamy engine cleaner. I remember watching Roadkill one time and they uh, did a very amateur test <laughs> of uh, the foamy and the different different versions you could get. And I don't remember which one they decided was the best, but that's what I'm going with right now because it talks about including dust and road grime and stuff like that in there. And that felt like a good fit for the Land Cruiser. So that's what we're going with. All right, 
gonna let that sit for a bit. So as I was pulling the pressure washer out, I remembered the go-kart was down also. Um, I was cruising around following my son the other day and suddenly he didn't have any throttle. He thought it ran out of gas, but the engine was still running. And what happened was the throttle cable broke. So you can see right down there, that's broken off kind of where it pivots. So I'm gonna take a look at that real quick, see if I can get that fixed, make this run again for him. Now we're gonna see if this works, giving you an overhead view. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to work on this and let you see what I'm doing. But we're gonna try. I'm hoping. Um, kind of a tight spot. There we go. I'm hoping I can just uh, basically loosen this cable up and move it over and feed in the very tip of that. feed in the very tip to keep this running. I'm probably gonna need to buy a new cable ultimately, but I think this will get them by until I can. Tighten that down. Like that. Okay. I'm gonna go pull it real quick, see if it'll fire up and uh, well, I guess I don't have to go. Well, I need to turn the kill switch on. I'm gonna hang on to this just to make sure. I'm gonna hang on to this just to make sure it doesn't take off and go anywhere. It didn't go anywhere, but you did. I think we're good. I'm gonna pull it out and just run it around real quick, make sure it's. Good and set. Okay, I'm gonna to top this off with gas and then we'll get to uh, pressure washing the cruiser. I don't know how much of that you got because the camera shut off because you guessed it got too hot. Well, that was a surprise, wasn't it? <laughs> you were gonna think that it ran out of battery or memory card because that's usually what it is. This time it got too hot sitting out of the sun. It is just hot. Oh, anyways, it's done. I'm pretty sure it's dry for sitting out for two minutes, but um, but I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and let it sit there until the morning. I need to do a little bit of cleaning up in here anyways uh, before I can pull it in. Um, it is really quite nice out here at the moment, which is a lovely change for what it has been. You can see all these dark clouds contributing to that. We haven't gotten rain here yet, but I could feel a cool breeze coming off of that. 
and it feels really good compared to the temperatures that we've had up in the hundreds. In fact, I've got a picture. I was headed to dog training the other night. My truck was at 106 is what it said the temperature outside was. So it has been hot. So this just feels really good. Um, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I had the issue with the camera that overheated while I was working on the Land Cruiser. And then I started talking to you and it immediately shut off again because of a dead battery. <laughs> Figures, right? <clears throat> Anyways, I've got it all charged up. It's a few days later. Let me show you where I'm at. I'm going to go ahead and pop this door open because that breeze feels so good. Oh yeah, it's definitely cooler out there than it is in here. I've had this little AC unit here running for, I don't know, about an hour and a half in here. I don't think it's made a difference. I could kind of stand here and get a cool breeze off of it, but that's about it. So, um, so I got the cruiser all cleaned up, degreased. Well, it's not degreased, but let's be honest. There's uh, I mean, 30 years worth of grease and gunk and grime that's built up on this. So it would need that about five, six more times before it was completely degreased. But it's good enough for what we're doing. And in this box right here is the magical parts I've been waiting for. So I'm going to dig into that real quick. See what I've got. See if I can get my head wrapped around what we're dealing with. And then we'll get started. I think that's the air cleaner base. Okay, so we got jetting instructions. Okay, all good information. I'm going to open this just because I want to see it. Look at that beauty. I am excited. Let's pop the hood and see what we're working with. <laughs> 